Yes. That is an unbelievable view. <laughs> We spend hundreds of hours every year in the deer woods scouting and checking in on bucks that we know, but only a small percentage of those bucks will ever survive to the point where we actually want to hunt them. Most of them are taken by other hunters, predators, or the weather, and once we've lost track of any certain buck for about a year, we decide to move on and accept that he's gone. And on this week's show, we're hunting with Bill Cheshire right here in Saskatchewan, and he's on a rifle hunt for a big old 4x4. That is, until his hunt's interrupted by an old friend of ours. Bill's target buck is this giant old body 4x4 that we'd been watching in the area for several years. Okay, head her in. Oh yeah. I think I just dropped this off and I could to go too far over that knoll, but the pine should be right there. It seems like there's some pretty good ones coming up out of the, the river bottom, so let's head her in, Richie. While well, Bill and cameraman Richie get settled in, it doesn't take long for the first deer to start moving. And the first was this young buck. Only a short hour later, while watching a doe, Bill hears some grunting, and up from the river bottom comes this full rutted 5x6. Oh, that's a nice Now Bill knew this 5x6 should be a shooter, but why he hasn't shot, well, we'll explain shortly. While watching this 5x6 walk away, Bill and cameraman Richie had no idea of the deer that they just had an encounter with. And as much as he'd wanted to, Bill hadn't shot because it wasn't the target deer, not knowing that they'd just seen a ghost. Well, Bill's gut instinct told him to shoot the 5x6 that he'd had the encounter with before the break, but he'd resisted because it wasn't the target deer, and we hadn't told him anything about a 5x6 even in the area. But later that night, when reviewing the footage, well, I couldn't believe my eyes. The deer that Richie and Bill had just passed up had been dead for two years. Or so we thought. This 5x6 is a deer that we'd watched for years, and a deer that Jason had actually spent almost 60 days hunting back in 2011, until his abrupt disappearance. After he disappeared from this very valley, we were never able to find him again over the next two years, and were certain that he was dead. I couldn't believe it, and after dark, I walked back in to pull the memory card from the Spy Point trail camera, and sure enough, there were pictures from that day. And although the old fellow had gone downhill quite a bit, there was no doubt it was him, and Bill headed back in the next day, now with a new plan. When Billy heard the story behind the old 5x6, any thoughts of the target 4x4 were out the window. Bill was now determined to have another chance at the open 5x6. Well, we just got in and uh, just kind of getting a 
all set up. For Bill to say that he would now pass the target 4x4 was a big statement, especially to say that he would pass him up, waiting for the old 5x6 that had disappeared for over two years with only one encounter, and Billy only here for a few days to hunt. But Bill's statement was about to be tested. That wind is just nasty. Not long into the evening, the target 4x4 that Billy had traveled over 1,800 miles to hunt had made an appearance. When the target 4 stopped and gave Bill the perfect shot, much to my surprise, they let him walk, still hoping that the 5x6 would show. Well, what the Target 4 was looking at and had pushed him off was unfortunately not the old 5x6, rather a coyote. And the worst part was that as a non-resident of Saskatchewan, Bill was not allowed to shoot the deer killer. Now having had an opportunity at two great bucks, it was Bill's last day, but Bill headed back in adamant that he was waiting for another chance at the old 5x6. On Bill's last day heading in, I was sure he would be doubting some of the decisions that he had made to pass on the Target 4. However, he was smiling and adamant that last day or not, he wanted to take the old 5x6 or go home empty. quite a few deer, mostly cutting through these valleys down here, but the last two days we've had a couple of uh, good ones get up, get fairly close to us, so uh, a little concerned about them getting in our wind, it's been cutting across here and they're getting too close, so better safe than sorry. The first year of the evening was this young fellow chasing some does, and Bill was hoping that his commotion and grunting would catch the attention of any of the other mature bucks in the area.
Moments later, cameraman Richie sees a deer coming up from the river bottom and quickly recognizes that it's none other than the old 5x6. Yep, that's a shooter. It's 5x6, I think. For real. Welcome back. Before the break, the 5x6 that Bill had passed his original target buck to wait for another encounter with had just arrived. Nice shot, right on, buddy. Oh, it looked good. What a roller coaster ride! A roller coaster ride. We have had 15 deer all over us all night. This, <clears throat> this old buck chasing everything all over the place. <clears throat> Just about chased us and chased those right into the blind. We had that big four by four at the start, and then sitting here, it's what have we got, 20 minutes left? Yep. 20 minutes left and we think, I'm thinking it's over again. Right on, buddy. Nice work, really. Oh, that was fun hunting with you. We've seen a lot of deer these last few days. Yep. Some nice young up-and-comers, too. I tell you, we've seen some stuff, passed some stuff, thought we made some mistakes, but I tell you, you uh, kept a lot of faith in me, I tell you. <laughs> I think we better go have a look at that. Yeah, well, it's still good light. Yeah. I'm sure you hit them good, though. It looked good, eh? Yeah, it yeah. did. Good. Right on. Good shot, Billy. Well, we just got a uh, good shot on a, looks like a big old deer, five by six. Shot looked real good. Um, we didn't look at the footage or anything, but he humped up nice and was and headed off that way. We're just gonna go down See if we can find some blood and maybe get a look at him here before dark. Pretty good blood here. I don't think he's going to be too much farther. Right there. Holy. Big ol' that, eh? Oh, that's one cool looking deer. Yeah, no, he's a beauty. Nice dark horns too, eh? Yeah. A long time since I've rifle hunted for, for deer, but it's pretty exciting. 
you know usually you're in a blind and you're you're pinned down with the bow at 25 yards and you it's uh it's pretty tense well it's pretty tense when something like this walks in anyway we had five deer in the field and he came in and just blew him out of there like he owned the place so let's get him tagged up and out of here Well, I won't lie, after eluding Jason and disappearing for us for over two years, I might have been kind of rooting for the old 5x6. But a huge congratulations to Bill on taking what is truly a trophy of unmeasurable proportions. It's a deer that'll be a legend for us here for decades to come. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail.